Hi, my loves. I am here with a Bible reading. Sure, get the camera, sorry. Today we're going to be reading in the New International Version, and we'll be reading Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 16. We'll be continuing one with Psalm 68. We'll be reading verses 19 through 35, and Proverbs chapter 24, verses 3 and 4. For days it will not let me log in to Bible Gateway, and I don't know why. I've never had this trouble. I'm going to have to send them a message. Because every time, computer. Every time I log in, it just goes right back to log in again. It never did this on my computer. I don't like this computer at all. But I'm lucky to still have one for us be able to do these. I got another laptop in there, but it just needs, I need somebody to work on it. I haven't really looked for anybody yet. I need to do that. Okay. Let's get started here with Ephesians, talking about unity and maturity in the body of Christ. And again, in Ephesians, this is still the Apostle Paul speaking. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit just as you were called to one hope when you were called our Lord one faith one baptism one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all but to each one of us grace has been given as Christ apportioned it this is why it says when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean, except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave the apostles the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants, tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people and their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head that is Christ. From him the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. That's where we're talking about. Remember when you first come to Christ being an infant in Christ and needing milk? And then even if you've been with Christ 30 years, but you don't study the Word, and you don't talk to Him, you don't pray, you're still an infant in Christ after those 30 years. You need to grow through Christ, become an adult in Christ. Eat eat the meat and you don't have to your faith is strong you don't have to worry about being deceit, deceitful schemes when people come up and try to trick you you'll know what they're up to you'll know it's the devil and your faith will be too strong for it the, the craftiness and cunning of the devil so that's where we're going to stop with um, Ephesians I'm going to get a couple mints out of here my mouth's getting dry Muscle. Shroom's having a Granny Smith apple. He loves those 
green apples. I don't like the green ones too well because they're, they're sour. All right, and now we're going to read Psalm 68, verses 19 through 35. Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is a God who saves. For the Sovereign Lord comes escape from death. Surely God will crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crowns of those who go on in their sins. The Lord says, I will bring them from Bashan. I will bring them from the depths of the sea, that your feet may wade in the blood of your foes, while the tongues of your dogs have their share. Your procession, God, has come into view, the procession of my God and King into the sanctuary. In front are the singers, after them the magician, magicians. With them are the young women playing the timbrels. Praise God in the great congregation. Praise the Lord in the assembly of Israel. There is the little tribe of Benjamin leading them. There the great throng of Judah's princes, and there the princes of Zebulun and Naphtali. Summon your power, God. Show us your strength, our God, as you have done before. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings will bring you gifts. Rebuke the beast among the reeds, the herd of bulls among the calves of the nations. Humbled, may the beast bring bars of silver. Scatter the nations who delight in war. Envoys will come from Egypt. Cush will submit herself to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praise to the Lord. They should be doing now, everybody in this world. To him who rides across the highest heavens, the ancient heavens, who thunders with mighty voice, proclaim the power of God, whose majesty is over Israel, whose power is in the heavens. You, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God forever and ever. Amen. The way this world is today, and it's getting worse and worse, I mean, just watch the news tonight and you'll see. You don't see no good things being reported on there. It's one bad thing right after another. Oh. The world needs God. The world needs Jesus. The devil's just taken over the world. The people are choosing the devil instead of God. So it seems like we're living in the end times, doesn't it? We don't know. But it'll, get, it'll only get worse. We know that for reading the book of Revelation. It has to get a lot worse before it gets better. All right, Proverbs chapter 24, verses 3 and 4. Saying 21 of the 30 sayings of the wise. By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Alright guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your hearts. The prayer requests remain the same, but I'll go ahead and go over the list. All right, Sherman Crabtree, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, Abby Myers and Matthew Simpson, Jimmy Myers, Dora Carper, Layla and her son Emil, uh, Malady and Eric Stanley. My sister, she's doing really good. She's still doing her college courses at home for some kind of cooking thing. And um, she's still off the drugs. She's still doing really good with that. She's getting to see her kids and hopefully we'll be able to get them all back soon. 
or, you know, just, or, you know, work something out so it's better for everybody. But so proud of her. She's doing so much better. So much better. I know the kids got to be so happy to have their mom back in their lives the way she was before, you know. Because when somebody's on drugs, as you know, if you know somebody that's been on drugs, they really change. She's doing a lot better. So please keep those prayers coming for her, guys. Tabitha Clary, Randy Post, Jody McWhorter, Judy Thompson, Elizabeth Jeffries, Ray Dunlap, Henry Reffitt, Garnet Boyer and Jim Mitchell, Norman Karshner, April Thacker and family, and Bridget Boggs and family. All right, guys, that was everything for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Join me tonight with the Bible study, guys, if you have time. Good night.